Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create procedural animated wave background in the After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, let's create a new shape layer here. So I'm just going to create a rectangle here and then I'm going to open these in just a little stroke. We don't need it. And so I'm going to add here a wiggle path. So basically wiggle path, if you can see here, we have this animation of this rectangle here. And to see it more obvious, Let's actually go to wiggle path and then let's crank up the size here. And as you see, we got something that looks like this. Let's preview it. So we have this animation as you see here. That's pretty cool. So now we have few properties to adjust here to make it look as we want. So here we have points and we can change this to smooth. And then we're going to have something that looks like a wave there. That's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do here, actually, I'm going to wiggle per second and just zero out that. And here we have details. So how many uh, of that waves we want. So I'm just going to put there five. And here we have this special phase here that we can actually uh, control as well. So the idea here, I want to create a null object and let's rename this to controller so we can control this. So I'm going to create slider control. Let's uh, rename this to size. And so here I'm going to link this size here with this slider control here. Okay, so now I want to create variable here as equal this slider. And then I'm going to put this S multiplied by index and then divided by 10. So when I actually duplicate these shape layer, we will have a different uh, looks of that size. And so because it's at zero, so let's give it something actually higher just there. So when we duplicate that, we're going to have a different size. So we're going to create uh, duplicate this one and let's rename these details and so these details is going to be for this one so we're just going to link it to the slider just so we can control it from there so let's put here five and so here I have these uh, special face so going to have slider for it as well so let's rename this face and then create these expression links to it. So here, I'm not going to do much here. So what I'm going to do here, doing the same thing. I'm going to create S equal the slider and then S multiply that by time. And then so it's going to be animating there. Let's have our value there. So now we're going to have something like this. So it's going to be animating and that's what we want for now. And so I'm going to create for random seats as well. So control D and this is going to be a looks. And so I'm going to link these with this look slider. So now we can have a different seats or looks for the uh, waves. And so I want actually to do the same thing here. Uh, this is let's create L variable equal this slider here and then L multiply that by index multiply it by maybe five. Okay, so once we, we duplicate that, we have a different looks for each layer. Okay, so now we set up all these. And so now we have these points. We want to have actually to change these to corners uh, quickly on all duplicates. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a keyframe here and just one frame and then create smooth uh, keyframe there. So we have like two 
uh, frames here. It's animating, but we want to create expression for it. So hold Alt and click on stopwatch. And so here I want to create a variable here. So this is going to be K1 equal. And so basically it's going to be the same here as we have. So let's remove these and just pick with these to the points. So we have that and then period and then type key. And so here we're going to uh, have a reference for the first key. So one, just copy these and then paste it here and change this to two. And this is going to be the reference for the second one. So for now, nothing actually happened. We still have the same thing here, okay? So what we're going to do is uh, create uh, here checkbox. So we can change from it, checkbox control, and then here, this is going to be C equal these checkbox here. And then I'm going to use F statement. So F um, C equal zero, then we want to have the key one else we want the key two. Okay, so now if uh, changing here, untick this checkbox, we can easily change these uh, very quickly and have a different look here. Okay, so, and now we have creating this, but we want to have this scrolling for these waves like it is moving. So to do that, I'm going here to, let's get right of these, I like it. And so here I'm going to apply motion tile. So motion tile is here. If we actually move in this and keep moving, we're going to create that uh, scrolling effect, but we have a problem here. So we're just going to mirror edge and it's going to fix it for us. And so here we want to create expression for this as well. So to see this, it's actually, okay. So here I want to create a variable here. So this is going to be uh, X equal value in an open bracket zero and then Y equal value open bracket one. So we just reference to the array for X and Y. So here we have X comma Y. So we just create these variables. So it's going to be, um, so here we need to have a semicolons to get right off these problems. So here we have the same values for this, but we want to have it animated as well. So let's create another slider here. And this time I'm going to rename this to speed. So we want to have this speed for uh, controlling this. So we want this to be scroll on X. So plus, uh, first let's, let's actually create um, S and link it with this speed. So this is the variable we need here. So plus S multiply by time, multiply by index, and then multiply it by 1.5. So here basically you will not see that much here because here it's zero. So let's actually crank up these. And then what you are seeing here, we have this nice animation here as you see, let's have longer duration so you can see what's going on here. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's what we want for now. That's look fine. And so for these shape layer, let's rename it to wave 01. And then I want to apply ramp or gradient ramp to it. So just to have a nice ramp here. So something like this for now. And so we have this and it looked good. And so let's duplicate these. Let's say if before duplicating it, let's have the animation for this. So P for position. And then we want these to animate from bottom to maybe the middle, just 
right there. And let's easy ease these keyframes here. So we're going to have something very simple like this. And so I'm going to duplicate these four times and hit T to reveal opacity. And so we can see them because they are all on top of each other. So here, let's put their 80 and here looks 50%. And then here we're going to put maybe 40. Okay, so here you actually barely can see there what's going on. So maybe here. Maybe this one I'm going to put it to 80 as well, just so we can see behind it. So you can now see them like all on top of each other. So on each one, we want to actually to change um, these ramps. So we have uh, like a kind of depth to, to this. So here we have like more whites for that one and so on. It's actually even moving here into different spots. Okay, let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, that's look pretty cool. So maybe it's too fast. So now we have the controller and let's put speed maybe to just 20. And so it's going to be nice uh, scroll in here. And so here we have all the controllers that we can control the look of these waves. And so as you see, it look pretty cool. And let's say maybe we want to change here uh, the size, uh, maybe the, give it more details. And so here we can maybe see uh, some kind of problems there as it's not smooth in some points like here. We have different ways to fix that. Here we have look so just different seeds for each uh, one. And so let's create a new null object. Let's rename these to mover. And so I'm going to parent all these shape layers to this one. And so hit S to reveal scale. And so now we have a control here. So we just can fix that problems like we have here just by changing here this one. So here we have a nice seamless looking as you see. And so let's say we want this to be uh, triangle looks here. So as you see, this looks pretty cool and we have a lot of controllers here. So here we can even move its position here now and so on and even rotate that. So now let's recolor this. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and let's rename this to color correction. And then I'm going to apply CC toner here. And so just by applying, you can see that we have a nice color in here, changing the look and depth. And so let's here change the color. So let's give it nice, maybe nice colors here as we want. So here we have the options to remap the color here. So as you see, it's pretty obvious. And here we have the control just how uh, we want to uh, the remapping to look of the colors from the gradients. So it's up to you how you want that. And so let's give it a nice preview here. And here we have, we can actually move this just maybe down. And so it's going to get right there into place. So as you see, this look pretty cool. And maybe you'll notice here we have the scrolling from left to right, so all the waves having the same direction. So maybe we want to have some variation here. So for the last two here, I'm going to go to motion tile. And so on the expression here, instead of plus, we're going to just put there minus. And so for these two, we're going to have the opposite direction for 
there. So let's preview this. So as you see now, we have this nice variation of the animation here. And so just remember everything here, we have the controller to control all what we need to have or want to control the look, the size and so on. And also this mover here, we can control how things look and so on. And so hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching. Thank you.